Greetings, everybody. Welcome to the next episode of the Money Making Strategy Series. I want to bring you a topic that we have not shared yet. And this is something that happens within any business, including the insurance agency business. So here's the situation. And this has come up a lot recently. So I want to make sure I bring it to the table and let's unpack it right here, starting today, right now to help you. And the thing about this particular topic, it's a very difficult one. It's within the first P, which is the people, which is always can be a very difficult situation because us human beings are a flossom mixed up bunch, right? So with that being said, the ask was, what's your recommendation as to what we do when we've got a lot of internal bickering going on within our organization and within our team? What's your best suggestion as to what we should do? I love that question because I have had that happen multiple times in my 35 years in the insurance agency business. And here's what I did. Over the years, I've handled it different ways in different situations. Every situation is unique. But let me tell you what not to do first. Okay. I remember years and years ago. I was in my office. It was a Monday morning. I was just getting my week started. I knew what I needed to accomplish that week. It was all planned out. And it was about 10 a.m., sitting there minding my own business. Now I had the corner office, and I could kind of see out of the office everything going on in the agency. And right outside my office door, I caught out of the corner of my eye. The gal got up from her desk, and she had her finched fists clenched just like this. Yes. I couldn't believe it. I'm going, Oh crap. And she was walking down. We had cubicles. She was walking down to another cubicle. And I immediately bolted up out of my seat and observed the whole situation. She and the person at the other end of the cubicles were going to get in a little fist of cuffs had I not intervened. With that being said, after unpacking the whole situation, I identified that there's some things that have been brewing that transparently I had knowledge of that I did not confront. Let me drop this one on you for your inking, not thinking. Remember, don't think it, ink it, because when you ink it, you will sink it into your brain. What you don't confront, you condone. What you don't confront, you condone. So don't, you got to confront it. That's the first takeaway. Anything that's brewing, anything that's going on in your organization, you got to confront it immediately. And if it's a very sensitive situation, take it behind the closed door, one-on-one with the individual, and deal with it. Come to a resolution. And if you got multiple people, bring them both in at the same time, shut the door, and confront it and deal with it. Now, the other thing, if you have a larger organization, let's say your agency's nine people as an example, okay? And you've got somebody that is constantly interrupting the flow in your organization because of their opinion, their attitude and everything else. And this has been going on for a while and they're not willing to change. Here's the deal. You have a duty and a responsibility to lead the entire organization, not that one person. And as much as I hate to say it, maybe that one person needs to go. Okay. You have a duty and a responsibility for the other eight as well. So if that person is not going to play team, together everybody achieves more, then maybe they need to go. There's two kinds of relationships out there in the world, personal relationships and business relationships. This is a business decision, business relationships only. You have a duty and a responsibility to protect your entire team to keep your agency healthy. It's on you. You've accepted the leadership chair. They're watching everything you say. They're listening to everything you say and everything you don't say, they're watching everything you do and everything you don't do. Gotta deal with it. It's not gonna get better until you deal with it. Remember, what you don't confront, you condone. You got this and we're here to support you. So what's happened in your agency business? What kind of inner bickering and things are going on? Share with us in the comments below if you're bold enough to do so, so we can help you through that And if today's money-making strategy episode has been helpful to you, please share it with anybody out there. And uh, we are grateful and thankful. Remember, the law of reciprocity is always in effect. 
We look forward to reading your comments below. And until our next episode, get out there, make a difference, be unstoppable, and leave no regrets. My name is Mike Stromso. I'm widely recognized as the leading author, speaker, and coach for the independent insurance agency industry. You can find me at unstoppableprofitproducer.com. If you're interested in attending a virtual or live event, please visit uppfaststart.com or beunstoppablebootcamp.com.